Good morning to you, welcome. It's Wednesday today, and we're going to talk about hand job again. This is uh, the story that keeps on giving. Uh, we have a um, obviously jumping on the bandwagon uh, for those people that can't stand his guts. I do apologize, I am the same. I really find him very, very obnoxious and. Uh, his idea that he's going to become famous on TV, that's one that also gets my go, because really he should be in court or in prison. However, let's jump on the mirror bandwagon and uh, give you a story about hand job. And apparently this is an exclusive. So Hancock returns to work. Val is in doubt as his girlfriend, not his wife, his girlfriend, is spotted jetting to Australia. So obviously, as we know, Hancock is in the jungle and he's still an MP and he's um, taking sabbatical and still getting paid as an MP. Plus he's also getting the money from the show. Um, and allegedly, he vowed to return to work right after the show when he got kicked out or when he, you know, however long it takes. However, girlfriend Gina has been seen flying out to Australia so that they would take it, probably turn it into a holiday. So he has no intention of coming back very quickly. Because she can't go with him, she can't be with him whilst he's in the show, because it's in the jungle. Uh, so therefore they can't be together, but obviously you know, it could be very innocent, I don't know. But the um, the crew have been left wondering if Hancock w really will rush back home after his jungle adventure, because his girlfriend is heading out there, despite his claims that he will fly straight home to carry on with his job as an MP. He's been at pains to suggest that he was working up until going to the camp. And the ITV interview last as a late entry. He was asked what his plans to do after the jungle. And he stressed the first thing that he would be doing was returning to Suffolk to hold a surgery with his constituents. So he added, I will be back in Suffolk holding surgeries in Parliament and we will be taking it from there. However, normally all of the evicted contestants from the series have a few days holiday and then return to camp and sit in the studio alongside the house uh, until the final. Obviously that will be November 27th. And if, if he's one of the first to be evicted, which is what they're planning, that would mean a week in Australia before the final is filmed and it's understood his girlfriend will not arrive until the near the end of this week when evictions start. This means that she would have to fly back again having barely landed if Matt was to come good on his claims about returning home promptly. A spokesman for Matt, my god he's got his own spokesman has he? insisted things were being judged on day-by-day -day basis regarding his movements. Yeah, right. So once his time is up, Matt will return to Suffolk. Hmm. I don't think he will. I think it's all bullshit. I think he's trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Uh, and of course, the Mirror are happy to, um, well, have a go at him, which I would, I would say I'm doing the same thing. So, uh, yes, Matt is continuing his spree as, a, as a, probably a liar and a, a fraud. And um, there's no surprises on this story at all. Now, hold on to your horses because I do have two more stories regarding the hand job. Come back in a minute and I'll give you another one very soon.